got four tapes here and they all have different challenges when it comes to removing them if you've applied them to the wrong place or you've accidentally applied the wrong tape. I'm going to share a few tips that might help you when it comes to removing one of these four tapes. So the four tapes that I have here are our Extreme Glue Tape. This is a acrylic gel based tape, really strong, it's got a really high initial tack. Then I've got our Exterior Foam Tape, really high initial tack and it's really weatherproof. Same for all the tapes, they're all weatherproof, they're all resistant to heat and water and this can make it a bit of a challenge to remove them sometimes. And then we've got our Extreme Marathon which is a metal to metal tape, it's a really strong foamed acrylic tape. And then we have our Extreme Triathlon which is a acrylic tissue tape so it's really thin but really strong and really weather resistant so that one can be quite a challenge too. So with the glue tape you're going to want to remove it just as it is, you don't want to try and rub it down with anything, use any liquids or any product to try and take it away from the surface. The easy thing to do is actually just to grab a corner and I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see what I'm doing on that. So with the extreme glue you want to try and take a corner, you want to, well, you want to remove the backing first ideally and once the backing's been removed what you want to do is you want to take a corner and you want to kind of pull that corner up and if you keep pulling it at quite a low angle what should happen is the tape starts to peel away as it stretches it pulls the adhesive off the metal and that means you should be able to quite easily remove your tape and it's also worth mentioning that pulling the tape from one corner is a good way to help remove the backing because it can sometimes be tricky when you're working with tapes when the backing's on really firmly. With the foam tape it is a bit of an issue because it does have a tendency to break apart when you try and pull it off so doing something like we do for the glue tape isn't really going to work it's just going to leave you in lots of little pieces and it's going to be absolutely hassle to remove. So the easy thing to do is to use some sticky stuff remover. This is readily available at most stores and it really works in lowering that adhesive so the tape can just about be scraped off using any kind of scraper or something like that to help you push that off. Again, I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see how that's done. So with the Extreme Fern, you want to grab yourself some of this sticky stuff remover and all you want to do is add a little bit around the sides of the tape. And then make sure that that's really pushed into that tape and it's really getting underneath the tape. And then you just want to leave that for about maybe two or three minutes. So I've left this sitting now for about five minutes and then I'll grab just a ruler. You can use anything really plastic with an edge on it for this. And I'm just going to kind of saw back and forwards along this. And what's gonna happen is the tape will just slowly come up from the surface. As you can see, it's not perfect, but these marks here can just be scrubbed off using anything really, a scalpel or even back with the plastic blade with a slightly different angle, you can often remove those. With the Extreme Marathon, it's not dissimilar to the Extreme Foam Tape in that it is kind of a foamed acrylic, so it, you can have some of the same issues. With this one, we found it's best, again, to use sticky stuff remover, but this time what you want to do is you want to leave the backing on. This helps hold the tape together. You may still be left with some residue. The best way to deal with that is just to scrub it down using really anything that you have that's not going to damage your surface that you're working on. So with the Extreme Marathon, very similar. What we want to do is add some of our sticky stuff remover around. And then we're just gonna leave that for about five minutes. So I've left this about five minutes and I've just given it a go and it's not quite ready to come off so what I'm going to do is leave it for another five minutes. It does tend to take a little bit longer this one because it does have a slightly stronger adhesive than the Extreme Foam. So once you've left this for about 10-15 minutes and you feel like it's probably just about ready to come up, what we found best to do is to avoid it all coming apart in different little pieces. If you actually dry it off and then leave it overnight. Now we're not entirely sure why but we did find that 
if you left it overnight after being dried off, it just seemed to all come up in one piece, as opposed to all pulling off in loads of little bits and leaving you with loads of little bits all over the piece of metal that, that we were testing it on. So I've left this overnight and I've come back to it this morning and let's see if it's ready to be removed. As you can see, it comes off all nicely in one piece. It's not breaking up. It's slightly drier on, on, on the underside. I'm guessing it's probably sort of bonded itself together a bit more overnight. And there we go. It does just about come off all in one piece afterwards and it's quite clean. And then lastly, our triathlon. Our triathlon is really difficult to get up because it is so thin and it doesn't have the qualities that say a foam does where it can break away. It does really bond really hard to the surface. So that is something that's going to be really difficult. Again, sticky stuff remover does also work on that or rubbing alcohol can also work on that. And again, you want to scratch it with the plastic that we used on these it won't necessarily work. We found that using a scalpel blade is the easiest way just because it's that much finer and you can get underneath the actual tape a little bit better. So with the Extreme Triathlon, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop some uh, rubbing alcohol on it. Now it's similar to the Sticky Stuff Remover, it's just slightly stronger and it has a slightly better effect on this tape because it is quite hard to do that. Now to spread it around, I'm just going to use this ruler just to make sure that it's all covered. And then again, we'll leave this for five, 10 minutes. So I actually have this for about 20 minutes because it does kind of struggle this one to come off. So I've got myself a scalpel blade. Now it's not ideal on metal because it might scratch your surface a little bit, but if you really do need to remove the tape, it does work really well. So as you can see, it does come off relatively well if you use this. There is still some bits left on there. So you can just go through and kind of tidy those off afterwards. But overall, it does do the job, especially if you just want to put a different tape over the top of this, it will be absolutely fine. So that is how to remove these four tapes. I hope that you found it helpful. If you need any advice on removing any other tapes, then be sure to let us know. We'll see if we have any tips or any ideas on how you can remove those tapes. If you're interested in any of these tapes, you can find them all on our website. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to look out for our next video.